Altium batteries for GM's upcoming electric vehicles have advanced chemistry and modular adaptability. The firm refers to the Cadillac Lyric as a display car, so there are still many details to work out before this automobile is produced and delivered to customers. The business did use the Lyric's media premiere to provide more information on GM's upcoming Altium batteries. Hello, this is Lyric Media, where information is key and accuracy is the goal. We keep you abreast of the latest information and trending news about the EV Lyric Cadillac and other future EVs from the Cadillac company. So, if you're an enthusiast or owner of these electric vehicles, there is a spot for you here on this channel. We function as a family. We listen to your feedback in the comment section and make all of the required videos with the knowledge you need to stay current in the EV industry. If you're new here, please subscribe, like this video, and click the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest content. Thank you. Back to our video. Ultium cells, flat pouch style batteries, created in collaboration with LG Chem, will be manufactured at the old General Motors Assembly Factory in Lordstown, Ohio, which produced the company's compact automobiles beginning with the Chevrolet Vega in 1970. According to GM, the Lyric will have a battery pack with a capacity of roughly 100 kWh. Compared to the batteries now utilized in the Chevrolet Bolt EV, its cells use a nickel-cobalt-manganese-aluminum NCMA, chemistry that reduces the amount of cobalt needed by 70%. According to Andy Aury, lead architect and strategy manager for high-voltage battery packs at General Motors, this is a new chemistry where we've taken a conventional nickel-manganese-cobalt chemistry and added aluminum. The huge flat pouch cells are also built in modules that have been made to make cooling less complicated. Wiring in the battery pack is reduced by 90% when the battery electronics are integrated directly into the modules, also in comparison to the Bolt. The Lyric has a maximum DC fast charging rate of 150 kilowatts. Lyric principal engineer Jamie Brewer stated, we knew both range and charging time and availability were going to be top of mind for any of our EV adopters from the day we started creating the Lyric. With the Lyric, we tried to make sure that we were giving them options. She guaranteed that customers would have a variety of charging options and chances with the Lyric. We'll provide both Level 1 and Level 2 AC charging, and our Level 2 AC charging will provide configurable charging at up to 19 kilowatts. Additionally, will provide over 150 kilowatts of DC rapid charging. The consumer will be able to decide how to charge, where to charge, at home, at work, or while traveling, and how to make the most of the time they have to recharge their battery. Auri explained the procedure used by the business to create the batteries for the Lyric and other GM EVs that will be released in the future. At the Global Battery Systems Lab, We've got our standard test procedures that have taken advantage of our decades of electric vehicle experience. And we've got the software and test scripts to make it all run. The business runs battery cells through a gauntlet of testing. As we previously explained in the article, GM Lab tortures batteries in preparation for upcoming EVs. Auri remarked, We can thermally condition a battery through frigid temperatures to desert extremes, while energizing and shaking the battery. According to Ken Morris, GM's Vice President of Autonomous and Electric Car Programs, Jammin's collaboration with LG Chem is essential to supplying Ultium cells. It's a really significant relationship. To accomplish a very significant objective for Cadillac and actually for General Motors as a whole, reducing battery costs as low as we possibly can. It is bringing together two firms that are delivering the best that we can do and the knowledge of both companies. Morris continued, General Motors brings to the fore 100 years of industrial leadership and supply chain insight. LG Chem brings a chemistry background and chemical expertise. We are collaborating and supporting each other's growth. With the help of this cooperation, we have built or are currently constructing a battery facility in Lordstown, Ohio. That will enable us to make the manufacturing portion of it as streamlined and effective as we can, he promised. According to an LG official, LG has already committed $850 million toward its share of the joint venture, and the two businesses will eventually invest a total of $2.3 billion in the plant. The plant is expected to generate 30 gigawatt hours of battery capacity annually. That would be sufficient to provide 100 kilowatt hour battery packs 
for 300,000 automobiles. Depending on the model and configuration, a variety of modular components from GM's Ultium EV powertrain can be mixed and matched. The battery cell itself is the crown jewel of the Ultium system, according to Auri. Our strategy is to use the fewest number of the largest cells possible. Then he added, these cells are bundled into modules. We can optimize the battery energy storage and the layout for each vehicle design with the help of this technology, which is straightforward, lightweight, and space efficient. Two dozen Ultium cells are bundled together by the manufacturer to create a module that can be wired in one of two ways. In the smaller battery packs, he explained, we wire the battery packs two in parallel and 12 in series. We wire the same cells three in parallel and eight in series in our larger battery packs. Regardless of the number of modules in the battery pack, this enables GM to optimize the battery pack voltage. There could be as few as six or as many as 12 modules. 12 modules would provide customers with the greatest power and greatest range, according to Auri. Customers would have a cheaper entry point with six or eight modules. How the cells can fit into their modules is another feature of Ultium's modularity. Typically, they fit in vertical rows and resemble the expansion cards found in PCs from the 1990s. The packs can be adjusted to match the available space by placing these cells in the module longways, which results in a longer, narrower module, or by turning them 90 degrees to run crossways, which results in a wider module. However, whether the pack is oriented longways or crossways, the minimum height of the pack is constrained by the height of these vertical cells. We also engineered another group of battery modules where we took the same Ultium cells and instead of stacking them across the module, we stacked them from the bottom to the top, said Auri. These modules were designed for cars with height restrictions. These are utilized in unique automobiles with incredibly low roof lines. It blends in with the vehicle in a way that creates additional interior space and a more opulent experience. It is heartening to sports car lovers to know that GM is thinking about keeping the potential to do low-slung sporty cars as well, rather than just an armada of SUVs, at a time when it seems like vehicles are always expanding upwards. According to GM President Mark Roos, this has the bones and the foundations to be able to do just about anything. We have come to the end of today's video. Share with us your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned to Lyric Media for all the latest Cadillac Lyric news. Remember to subscribe, like and share this video to let the YouTube universe know that this video is helpful. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.